Here is a uh, CD player. It has no overcurrent protection in it from the factory. Okay, here is the uh, typical house view. See how large that filament is inside? And see how tiny the filament is inside the uh, fuse I put in the stereo components? And the uh, household circuit breaker is equivalent to the uh, house views. Okay, I'm going to put a prop under here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, t I took the uh, live wire off of this terminal. I had to fuss and putz with it because I just couldn't get it to come off. So I did it off camera. There is uh, no protection in here. So I'm going to put a uh, fuse block in here. Okay, so I'll mount the uh, block into here. I drilled this hole with a... I took the back plate off and drilled it with a drill press. So first we'll solder the live side. We, uh, I'm going to cut this off and do it again because it's a little bit sloppy. I'll twist the strands together. Turn this so I make sure all my strands go through the hole. Bend it over. Oh, there's still a little bit tinned in here, so I'm going to go back a little further. Okay, I'll twist all the strands together. them all together with the uh, pliers there, make sure it's nice and flat. I'll clean my tip. What I like about this soldering iron, it has a nice wide uh, tip on it so I can solder a bigger terminal, so I'll just in here. that cool a bit. Okay, I'll turn it so I can get that side looks nice clean solder joint. That side's a nice but it's a little shallow on this side so I'm going to add a little more over here. nice full solder joint there. Ok, 
Okay, now we'll get this wire up here. Okay, I'll, I'll clip this off and no strands broke off, so I'm going to twist these strands together here. Ten there. I'll go in through the bottom here. I'll bring that insulation up close. I'll take my pliers, flatten it down so I get a nice flat joint there. Dip again. Get a little solder on there. There we go. I got the insulation right up to the bottom of the uh, solder joint there. So I'll let that cool a minute. And this one has to go down here around this one. I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to try to uh, keep, use the, uh, the strands here to uh, give me some extra room to uh, make my wrap. And I'll clip the extra off when I'm done. So I'm going to just twist my strands together here. I'm going to go around this other terminal. I'm bring this up further so you can see inside. I'll use my pliers. I'll Wrap around that terminal there. Now I can cut the extra off. I'm going to make sure I don't lose any strands down in the unit. And I'll take my pliers. And let's get these strands wrapped around here. There, 
I got a nice tight wrap there. Okay, I'll tin my iron again. We got a real nice clean solder joint there. So I'm all done with the iron, so I'll just tin it. Okay, so I'll just use my pliers to snug this nut. I don't want to mar the plastic up. Okay, now we'll put a couple of zip ties in here to hold our wires in place. I always put the fuse on the live side of the power cord. I'll cut the zip tie here. And I just want to make sure it's not touching any sharp edges that could short out. Then I'll just make sure this is nice and tight. Okay, I'll put another zip tie here because I don't want this drawer to hit against it, so I'll put one. Here. So that will keep that from hitting there, and I'll stick one more. off. Now I'm going to make sure this is nice and snug. And I'll use some Loctite to uh, keep this from loosening up from like vibration and stuff. So I'll put it right on the back of the threads there. This will help keep it from uh, loosening up from vibration. Now I'll show you what can cause the power transformer to go bad and start a fire in your house without overcurrent protection. 
See these uh, rectifier diodes down here? There's one, two, three, four. If one of those go bad in a shorting condition, it can get this power transformer very hot. And this cord is only rated for like 7 amps. And uh, the house fuse is 20 amps. So while this is shorting out and burning, it, it w it's at the mercy of the uh, house fuse without the line fuse I put in. And while it's drawing 20 amps to blow the house fuse, it can be overheating this cord and it can short out and start a fire inside the house. Like if there's a drape laying against it outside of the unit, like, so uh, that is why I put the uh, fuses in. But uh, always consult with an authorized service center before doing, because if it's done wrong, you can create a shock or fire hazard. So there is my soldering on the left side, and there is a better side view of it, and there it is on the other side of the, look at the one on the left, that's the one that I soldered. There is my solder on the top of the fuse block. So you just put your uh, one amp fuse in your holder like this. See that little notch there in the notch here? Just put it in like that. There it is. Push it in and turn it. Okay, so this is a uh, Sony CD player, and it is the uh, model CDP350, and there's the fuse I put in. I have a Sony cassette deck that did not have a fuse in it, but the uh, European model had a fuse in it, so that's where I got the idea of putting in the uh, line fuses, because I feel for the U.S., the UL and the Consumer Product Safety Commission rely on the uh, house fuse too much. Now after I'm done, what I do is I'll take this and I'll just tap it upside down like this, make sure any little strands of wire are out of it, and I'll shake it out like this, make sure nothing is in there that could short something out. Peace. Thanks for watching.